is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 23rd of January. Isn't it amazing how quickly we're already well into 2023? What we're looking at here is the Dow is up 81 and 33,458. Very nice turn. That, that move on Friday, especially the close at the high of the day, was really important, especially with this follow through today. Why? Because look, we suddenly saw for the very first time in, in quite a while, the S&P start to tackle that 200 period moving average decisively last week, and then it gave it back. But look at that move on Friday. Look at the move today, just above the 200 period moving average yet again, fourth time in about six uh, sessions. Really important to break above it and hold. We're at up 25 at 39.97. This is even more important. Look at the QQQ, up 3.58, up 1.27 percent, very strong, at 286.30, and it's broken above last week's high. Very important. It's got a long way to go to the 296 area where the 200 period moving is. Averages is at 286 right now. Finally, it's tackling this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there, that green line in the weekly chart. Look at the IWM. IWM, we were talking about it the other day, saying it's starting to improve quite a lot. That's the Russell 2000 small caps up uh, 0.94 at 185.98. I wanted to see these. Other indices start to move as well as the Dow. That's really, but you can't have the you can't have the general moving without the uh, soldiers or whatever the expression would be. My expression, I guess. Um, so what we're looking at here is gold is pulling back. We anticipated that gold would pull back here. I show my subscribers in my weekend overview that this this uh, expanding wedge, like a flag formation, uh, is really important. That there should be a pullback here, regardless of this particular pattern. Everything is pointing to gold a little bit overboard. Weekly chart is still very strong. It's down 12 at, at 1915. My, thing, my thinking here is that it's going to test the uh, 1900 to 1894 area, and that's going to be the big test because I had said I anticipated that the dollar could have a little bit of a bounce, a eh, little bit of bounce, up 18 ticks at 102.90, but it's in the rectangle, meaning that it's trying to form a base. Crude oil is uh, down, no, it's up again, up 80 cents at 82. And the TLT bonds, bonds are down again, so the yields are moving up. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening call by the Indian Newsletter. <laughs>